Hi guys, Chris here from Limworks, and in this video we're going to take a quick look at the rules engine and how you can use it to automatically assign shipping methods to orders that contain certain items. Now you may be selling items that are exceptionally bulky or fragile, and when you ship orders that contain these items you need to use a specialist service. Now you could use the rules engine to automatically assign shipping methods based on weight or dimensions, but this example is specifically for those items that don't really fit into a weight or dimension range. For example, you could be selling fragile items like jewellery or ornaments that need to be shipped using a service that's insured. The first thing we need to do is highlight all of your items inside Limworks that are fragile items using extended properties. Go to Inventory, My Inventory and find a fragile stock item. Click the SKU and go to the Extended Properties tab. It's here that we're going to add a fragile property to the item. Add a new extended property and give it a name. It doesn't matter what you call it as long as it's consistent. So in this example, I've called it shipping requirement. Next, in the value column, I'm going to say it's fragile. And in the type column, I'm going to pick an attribute. Don't forget to save it when you're done. Now, you could manually add this extended property to all your other fragile items, or you could make a CSV file that's just a list of all your fragile items and import it in bulk. Now that we've highlighted all your fragile items, we need to make a rule that assigns the right service to all the orders that contain any of these items. Go to Order Book, Rules Engine, and create a new rule. Give the rule a name, and open the Edit screen. The Rules Engine essentially works like a flowchart. You set up conditions in a sequence, and if an order meets all the right conditions, the rule will automatically perform an action. In this case, the action we need is to automatically assign a postal service method, but only for orders with fragile items. So, the first thing we need to do is create a new condition that checks for fragile order items. Click Add New to add a new condition, and give the condition a name. Next, use the drop-down menu to look for the value that we want the rule to check against. In this example, we need to scroll right down to the item values, and find extended property value. Now, in the name section, we need to put the name we gave to the extended property. We called it shipping requirement. And now we want to check that it equals fragile. Now this condition matched the extended property that we said earlier. Click save once you're done adding that condition. That's added a new node to our flowchart. And all we need to do now is end it with an action. So click add new. Click Action at the top and give it a name. Select the type of action that we want the rule to perform, in this case, Assign Postal Service to Order, and in the Value field, pick the right postal service method. That's it. Once we've saved and enabled this rule, it will run on all new paid orders, check for the extended property, and if the value matches, assign the correct shipping service. Save the rule down at the bottom and enable it if you're ready.